Hi, Will from Music Tech here at Superbooth in Berlin with Ilya from Game Changer Audio. Hey. Ilya, how's it going? Doing good. Excellent. We're yeah. checking out the Plasma Rack, exactly. which is, tell us which what it is. is. Just right, just this beautiful device over here. So we were talking earlier about our motor synth. So here it is. And I'm running just like a basic sine wave, soft kind of thingy through it. So. So this rack is kind of an expanded version of, the, of our plasma pedal. So uh, we never intended to build it at first, but we had a lot of requests from people and also from people who go on, like pe from touring musicians, can you make it bigger, huger, like the, the distortion thing. So here we are using a full uh, like a flash, flash bulb from a stroboscope. Okay. And we're running about 5.5 thousand volts through it. And uh, so. So here I'm blending. Uh, I'm blending between the clean and the distorted. kind of like that's the basic sound right so it is a plasma distortion just like the pedal but only bigger and it uses like uh, studio grade c components so it's like better headroom and that kind of stuff but we, there's also extra controls so let me just quickly tell you what's bigger and better about the the rack so number one bigger EQ section uh, so now I'm just uh, demo going to demonstrate the EQ section on the on the clean signal I can separate that. I can just this is all the So secondly, there is a feature called uh, there's a feature called clean gate. So there's a feature called clean gate. Uh, here I'm I'm using the I'm using the tubes kind of like behavior as just as a noise gate for a clean signal. So this is really, really good for processing drum sets. So just put two overhead mics, mic signals from a drum set yeah. into, the, into, the, into this, into the clean gate, and it becomes really, really like super crushed but clean. So right. it's hard to describe it. But basically, yeah, I, like... And so what's the benefit of using a uh, high voltage tube yeah, like this? It's what, it's is it for well the sound the, or...? The, the sound and the gating kind of... Yeah. And the, Strange behavior, just like, just the spittiness kind of, of it. Spittiness of it, yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. So here, so here we can. This is like it's barely connecting, and I can just apply that same that same kind of spittiness to a, to a clean signal as well. I, I'm, I really hope you can hear that yeah. in, the, in the in the audio there. So and then there's an oversaturation mode, which is fantastic. It's kind of a rectifier based fuzz octave thing. Also, we have a built-in uh, one one button compressor as well, and uh, a really cool thing that we, we have here is uh, is a tremolo section. So let me just turn the arpeggiator off. And then there's a there's a mode there's a special mode of the of the uh, there's a special mode on the tremolo section called dynamic tremolo. 
Right. So it uh, you can only ca uh, like you can only apply the ring mod to the transients. So if, if if you're playing a guitar, yeah. So you can uh, like the problem with ring mods, in my opinion, is that they're always there. They're always just like, Woo! yeah, just humming in the background when you're playing. Yeah. So the dynamic tremolo, if you switch this on, you can only apply the little like crackle of the ring mod only on the on the transients, like. Okay, like right, right, right. And then right. the rest of the signal yeah. is unaffected. Or you can go the other way, reverse the snob, and then you can strum, and yes. then the ring mod or tremolo only come out at the, as the note is dying. Right. So also, this uh, whole thing is fully MIDI controllable, like with CC uh, signals like and uh, MIDI presets. So uh, it also has three effects loops in uh, different parts of the chain. You can you can you can take a look at the at this uh, this kind of schematic here. So yeah, so yeah, we've printed the the whole schematic for you guys, so you can easily understand what each effects loop does. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, also, it takes an expression pedal that can be assigned to ap any knob. To so you can yeah, sort you of can perform it. You can perform. You can you can assign it to the blend yeah. or okay. to the volume or okay. to the rate or low, Great. mid, high or whatever. And uh, what else? Uh, I don't know. It's just a. It's just I mean a fantastic it sounds amazing. It's, it's really, really cool. I don't know. It's great. Um, yeah. And when is this going to be available to this people? This is available right now. You right can buy now, it okay. from our website, uh, gamechangerorder.com, and uh, also we're in the very, very like, like, few, uh, near future, we're going to have a full, uh, full on, full, <laughs> full features exp explanation demo on on this device. Okay. So it's already filmed. We're editing the big video right now. So we'll, we'll we'll try to demonstrate everything that this rack has to offer in a studio setting. Excellent. And uh, how much will it cost then? Uh, so I think it's uh, fifteen, fourteen, uh, hundred ninety dollars from our website. So okay. it's a bargain. It's a steal. You should definitely yeah. need to have it. And unlike anything else, it seems. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Ilya, thank you very much. Cheers, man. Cheers.